اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ربی یسر و لا تعسر و تمم بالخیر و بی کا نسعین یا فتح یا فتح یا فتح اللہ فقنا فی الدین آمین so today um, we are going to learn uh, um, lesson 10 and in this lesson uh, we are going to uh, learn the fragment of masuf sifa in the last lesson we learned a uh, fragment of idafa which is murakkab e idafi in uh, which is, which was the uh, like murakkab e idafi is a combination of two ism uh, That, that are related uh, with respect to ownership or relationship but this time uh, this segment uh, this fragment that we are uh, we are learning uh, this is masuf sifa so it, again it's a combination of two ism but uh, in the the two isms uh, the relationship between two ism is that one d- describes the other one so one is the uh, describer and the other one is the uh, ism that is described so um, this is a com- uh, it's a combination uh, of two ism by de- definition by, uh, definition wise combination of two or more ism in which one ism which is adjective uh, is describing another ism uh, a person place or thing So this is called um, fragment of uh, masuf sifa. First, uh, first word in the combination is an ism, and usually a person, place, uh, animal, or a thing. Uh, while the second word uh, is is another ism. You uh, we know that in Arabic. uh adjective is also ism like ism sift so it's a combination of ism zat with ism sift so um like mm, definition wise uh it's a combination of masuf which is described and sifa the describer or the, or the adjective and uh, uh this uh, the same the same fragment is also called uh, like uh, the same uh, com- uh, two ism masuf sifa are also can also be termed as manut and nat nat is again uh, uh, something that describes uh, the quality of uh, another ism so mm, this murakkab e tawsifi can also be described is the combination of manut and nat again uh, we just need to keep uh, this in mind that this uh, this um, this murakkab or this combination again is not a complete sen- sentence it's a part of a sentence that's why uh, that's why it's it is called a uh, fragment so here are some examples of masuf sifa in this column is the uh, com- combination or the compound compound this column is for the first first wo- uh, word of the compound of the compound which is masuf and usually it's a person place or thing and this column is for the second uh, second one in the combination both are ism this one is usually ism zat and this one is ism sift so let's take one by one kitabun jadidun kitabun jadidun so this uh, tanween these tanween two tanween uh, they are uh, telling us that it's a singular and uh, both are nakira so a new book kitabun jadidun a new book here uh, the first word first word in the combination is a book a thing and this uh, this is the ism that is being described kitabun uh, 
and what's the quality or the adjective is jadidun like the, the book is new so new is the quality or the description of the book the same way uh, and both are nakra just keep in mind that bo uh, uh, both are nakra and ar rajulu salihu ar rajulu salihu the the pious man we know that al, al with al we uh, this da da is from al so ar rajulu ar rajulu salihu so both uh, both is are in starting with al so both are marfa and uh, the first one is the man again a person being described and pious is the quality or the description of that man here uh, in the third example waladun tawilun a tall boy again both uh, both of these ism are uh, nakra and singular so a boy is the uh, ism that is described uh, ism zat and tawilun is the quality or description of that boy uh, same here baitun jamilun a beautiful house house uh, now house is a thing so, so far we were uh, like kitabun is a thing and baitun is a thing uh, so um, and jamilun means beautiful jamilun is the description of that house so in arabic the ism described manood or masuf always comes first then uh, then the describer ism which is ism sif or not however in urdu and english the describer adjective or sif comes first then the ism described like beautiful comes first in english then comes the house but in arabic uh, the uh, the described ism comes first and then its quality now here are the rules for masuf sifa so what are the rules to, uh, by which uh, these uh, this combination is ma made or uh, uh, through these rules we can ident uh, we can identify uh, th this fragment while we uh, go through the ayat of quran pak so the first rule which is about the first ism the described one which is called masuf or manuut always comes first and there is only one masuf in one combination uh, there is only one masuf so this is the rule and then uh, rules about describer sifa or not the uh, sifa or nad always uh, comes after the masuf so sifa we, we just uh, saw in uh, in the previous examples that uh, sifa or nad the description always comes after the masuf so and now uh, this is important to uh, keep in mind that there can be more than one sifa nad for a single masuf so a masuf or, or uh, the ism described can be only oh, it's always one masuf is always one but there can be multiple sifa for the same uh, masuf this is one rule then the second rule uh, that and this one again very important rule for murakkab tawsifi or frag, uh, this fragment fragment of masuf sifa which is the sifa nad which is also an ism matches with masuf in all four properties all four properties matches between masuf and sifa and those properties are we know that these are status number gender and type so status number and gender type they match between masuf and sifa if masuf is rafa then sifa will also be rafa if masuf is nasab then sifa will also be nasab if masuf is jar then sifa will also be jar so status is the same of uh, between masuf and sifa if in uh, in a particular ayat 
like in when we are looking at one combination, the Mosu of Sifa are have the same status. Same goes with uh, the number. If Mosuf is singular, then Sifa is also singular. If Mosuf is dual, then Sifa is also dual. If Mosuf is plural, means three plus, three or three plus, then Sifa will also be plural. So number and then gender, gender will also match. If uh, Mosuf is uh, masculine, then Sifa is masculine. If Mosuf is feminine, then Sifa will also be um, feminine. And uh, then comes the type, the last uh, the last property, type. So type is uh, also matches. If uh, Mosuf is Marfa, then Sifa is also Marfa. And uh, if Mosuf is uh, Nakira, then Sifa will all, uh, also be Nakira. So these are the rules. Uh, and one more. Uh, in Murakkab Idafi, we learned that uh, in uh, Mudaf and Mudaf Ale come in succession, like they come just after each other. But in Mosuf Sifa, uh, there can be other uh, words in between Mosuf and Sifa. When we uh, uh, look at an ayat, sometimes Mosuf is in the beginning and there are some words uh, in between and then Sifa comes. So Mosuf and Sifa can be distant from each other in a sentence, which means there can be other words in between Mosuf and Sifa. So these are the rules. We can just uh, summarize these rules. First thing is Mosuf is always one and it comes first. And the Sifa is, uh, comes next. It can, it can come just after Mosuf or it can come at a distance. And Mosuf and Sifa match with all properties. All four properties match between Mosuf and Sifa. So these are the, basically, these are the rules to sum up. Okay, let's see how, uh, like how these rules apply uh, in this combination. So let's take one by one. There are four examples. Look, al hakibatul Jadidatu. Al Hakibatul Jadidu. Uh, the new bag. Okay, let's uh, uh, take status. Status uh, Hakibatu. Tu ending sound U. Al Jadidatu ending sound U. So it's Rafa status. So both are Rafa. Okay, status. Now uh, number Hakibatu one. Jadidatu one. So single, uh, singular number. Now, gender, we, uh, first we see the sign of uh, fe uh, feminine gender. Yes, we can see the sign of feminine gender, this tamar buta. So both are feminine. And then type, al, both, uh, both start uh, starting with al. So all four properties are matching in al haqibatul jadidatu. So this is Masuf Sifa. Yes, because all four properties are matching. So this is Masuf Sifa. Now, Hakibatun Jadidatun. Again, Un, Un, Rafa. Ha, uh, singular, yes, both are singular. And uh, with Tamar Buta, both are feminine. And uh, But uh, because Al is not there, and there is Tanveen in both of the, these at the end of both these words. So the, uh, both are nakira, a new bag. So with al, the new bag, and this one is a new bag. So again, another example. So this is for the feminine, and this is for the masculine example. Al kitabul jadidu, the new book. Again, a status is uh, rafa, u, u sound with uh, and both are single uh, single and al kitabul jadidu no sign for femininity so it's a masculine both are masculine and with al both are marfa and over here because al is not there but all other things are same un un rafa kitabun jadidun a single singular and no sign of femininity um, Masculine, so it's a masculine and uh, with tanmeen nakira. 
So on your book. So these are a few three, four examples to just apply uh, the rules that we just learned on the previous page. So, okay, here's uh, one example from Surah Hashar, last uh, ayat. Uh, so, uh, just to uh, show that there can be distance between Masuf and Sifa, and there, ca uh, there can be a like we know that always a masuf is always single and there can be more than one sefa for a single masuf so over here i just pointed like with color coding i pointed out the masuf and sefa so in this ayah allahu is masuf allahu ismu jalala is masuf and all these um asmaul husna these are uh, these are sifa or not. So let's see. Let's see how uh, the rules apply. Like, do, do they match uh, each other with uh, uh, in uh, status number, gen gender, and type? So, Allahu ismi jalala is uh, um, status is what? Uh, let me write it down here. Uh, Status is uh, Rafa, right? For Allahu. And number is one. And gender of uh, masculine. And Allahu is Jalala is proper name, like uh, Isma Alam. So it's a Marfa. Marfa. Now let's see Al Maliku. Let's take example of Al Maliku. Is it? Uh, Rafa, yes, Maliku, yes, Rafa, uh, singular, yes, singular, and um, Maliku, masculine. Is there any feminine of a sign of femininity? No, so it's a masculine and with Al, with Al, this is Marfa, so both are Marfa, so uh, so this is Masuf and this is Safa. Let's see if uh, Al Qudusu has the same uh, properties. Al Qudusu, yes, Dhamma, singular, uh, masculine, and with Al, it's Marfa. Same with As Salamu, you can see U sound, you can see Al, and you can see the singular. Al Mu'minu, Al Muhayminu, uh, Al Azizu, Al Jabbaru. Al Mutakabiru. So all these uh, ism, these are also ism, uh, but they are ism sift and asmaul husna. We know that. So uh, these are ism sift, and there are seven sifa for the for one masuf. And there are um, uh, other words in between masuf and sifa. So we can see that there can be long distance relationship between masuf and sifa. So th uh, these are some examples, uh, like four examples so we learned on the last page and one from the Quran. So okay, this is uh, this. Uh, these are few examples from a uh, different uh, surah of Quran to uh, to uh, show you um, how to identify the fragment of Masuf Sefa in in an ayat. So we know that Masuf Sefa is a combination of two ayat, right? So combination of two ayat. Uh, sorry, not two ayat. It's a combination of two ism. So we are going to see uh, isms, and we are and we know that Masuf Sifa match with each other uh, in four properties. So these two rules we are going to apply and see. Okay, here is Tanzilu. Tanzilu, yes, this is uh, ism and Al Kitabi. Okay, so uh, let's see. The Al Kitabi is Jar, singular. Al Kitabi is masculine, no sign of femininity. And this is Marifa because of Al. 
what about tanzilu so tanzilu is a u sound rafa so because this is jar and this is rafa so they can, they cannot be a mausuf sifa so we are going to leave this this is not mausuf sifa this is and we learned in the previous lesson also this is mudaf mudafila so this is not the fragment of mausuf sifa this is fragment of mudaf mudafila that's why the these are not matching with each other okay let's go to the uh, uh, this is allahi uh and azizi we know that min is harf so we are not going to focus on min we are going to focus on ism so allahi and azizi let's see azizi al azizi jar single masculine with al it's a marfa okay allahi allahi jar jar singular masculine and allahi is ism alam proper name allahi is majalala uh proper name so it's a marfa marraf bil oh sorry uh isme alam so look jar singular masculine marfa jar singular masculine marfa so these match with each other that's why this this one is sifat masuf masuf and sifa and al alimi look at al alimi this is also a uh, masuf sif um, uh, this is also sifa just like al azizi al alimi jar singular masculine and marfa with al so this is also sifa so over here we have one masuf and two sifa right so number 1 masuf number 2 masuf or naat number 1 and naat number 2 and this is masuf okay okay let's go to the next one over here in is harf kanat is fail in aqis illa is also harf say hatan is as uh, ism wahidatan is also ism so these two ism let's see if they match with each other in as uh, sngt status number gender type wahidatan tan tan nasab uh, wahidatan nasab one with mean mm, feminine with tamar buta wahidatan feminine with uh, tamar buta and because of tan mean it's a nakira and sayhatan sayhatan is again nasab an sound um uh, singular because of tanween uh feminine because of ta marbuta and nakira again because of tanween so and one uh, feminine nakira so nasab singular feminine nakra and a sub singular feminine nakra nakra both are matching so this is masuf sifa and we don't see any other ism with the, the same ending sound right so this is single a uh, single nat a uh, single sift with one mas one masuf okay over here as um to uh, ism just to make it uh, simple i'm going to tell you that the, these are two ism in both ending in in because these are this is harb this is uh, felemadi so i'm not going to go into the details of each word uh, over here there are two ism and because of uh, tanween i can say that these these two are ism let's see if they match uh, with each other in status number gender and type mubinin in sound jar mubinin in uh, tanween singular uh, 
is there any sound of uh, a sign of uh, femininity no most likely it's a masculine and mm, it's a uh, mubinin with tanween it's a nakira dalalin in sound uh, in ending sound there singular masculine nakira again same because of tanween so the, these are matching so this, this is a uh, masuf oh, hold on let me yes masuf sifa okay so here are some examples theek okay so um i'm going to erase this so alhamdulillah um uh, like uh, we have learned rules uh, all the rules and applied all the rules on these examples so inshallah we are going to discuss in detail uh, um, some more exercises more examples in our interactive session so till the um, the next lesson assalam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh allah hafiz